an overview of Enritzu's IQ Sigma Master software suite, a complete set of applications running on a standard Windows PC to help you capture, import, and organize your IQ data files, play back IQ files with fine time resolution and spectrogram displays, and analyze IQ data sets to measure common modulation standards and view 5G frame data. IQ Sigma Master is a complete solution helping you maximize your investment in Android 2 Spectrum Analyzers. IQ Sigma Master supports all of Android 2's latest products, including the Field Master and Field Master Pro, and Android 2's remote spectrum monitors. Whether you are dealing with a few milliseconds or a few hours of IQ data, IQ Sigma Master lets you visualize, explore, and analyze the signals you are interested in. IQ Sigma Master, the key that unlocks your data and the full utility of your Android 2 Spectrum Analyzer. Synchronize playback with IQ Signal Master. Simultaneous replay of multiple IQ data files. Synchronized in time for simultaneous capture files. Or synchronized to spectral features to compare repeatability across different components. Or for comparison of component response relative to a standard RF component. Welcome again to our series of videos introducing Enritsu's IQ Signal Master software. In today's in installment, we're going to look at the synchronized playback feature. This uh, allows us to load um, up to four different IQ data files. I've got three here, and I can and I can play them back in, in sort of a simultaneous view. Um, and sort of for for comparison. And, and do some analysis. In this case, I've, I've, I have a key fob that belongs to my, my pickup, the remote for, for unlocking and locking. And so I did a one second capture three, three times. And, and during the first one, I, I hit the unlock button and then the lock button. And then the third time I did the panic button. And, um, and I just wanted to, to look at that and see, um, what they look like. And so uh, we can play, I'm actually, it takes a little bit. I can kind of scroll through the playback and I can see that the signals turn on. Um, I didn't, you know, hit, hit the hit the button at the same time in those capture windows, so they're not really aligned in time. But that's what I want to be able to do is to time align this so I can look it back. So I'm going to scroll this back until it's just that just before it comes on. And then I have a, a playback offset for each of these files. And I'm just going to set that. Then I'm going to scroll forward until the second middle one comes on. That's the next one that comes on. I'll set a playback there and then scroll forward till that top one sees a signal and set a playback. So now I've, I've set a playback on those and I can I can hit this button. I want to start over. Hit this button. And all three of them come on at the same time because I've, I've adjusted that. I can sort of look at them and, and compare. Um, I can see it a little bit better if I do this waterfall or the spectrogram. Uh, I kind of see the, the and, and I was so looking at this. I can actually this one seems to have just this the slightest kink here, and this one maybe in a different way. They aren't they aren't exactly the same. Um, in fact, this is a little surprising. This one does a little bit of a frequency shift. Um, so kind of interesting. They are. Once they're time aligned, and you can do that comparison and, and see that. We also have the ability to, uh, if I hit, so I have some buttons and, and things here. So this little view thing, if I click on that, it'll open that file in my view mode. And I can I can do points of interest. And uh, I can use those to, to do a time alignment. Um, so if I wanted to just set this here and if I go back to my sync then then it's used that as my my playback offset so I can I can set the the time alignment either by by clicking this label or I can go into the, the view mode and and set a time alignment um, I also want to show a different file set so so I can load uh, files and, and save it and, and save the file names and, and the offset so I can repeat this, and I have another um, set of files. The, f the fourth one in this case is, is now missing. So I have three files that I, I collected. In this case, um, I have three remote spectrum monitors that are on the, the, the rooftops of, of the Android 2 buildings. Um, they're separated by 
I don't know, 300 meters or so, uh, kind of form a bit of a triangle, and, and an antenna that's just capturing over the air. And so I did a capture at uh, 885 megahertz for 5 milliseconds, and I can play that back. I'm going to clear the time offsets, and we can look at that. Um, so they're going to see very, a very similar thing, you would think, because they're, they're just antennas in the air looking at the same frequency. Um, in this case, uh, you can see there's a lot more, the noise floor is higher in, in this one. And there's some common elements here. If I look at this, this area right here, it's kind of a solid block and then, and then a little bit lighter. And then I got this little spot here that, that appears and it's actually in all three of these. And, um, I can see there's a common element here and, and maybe here very faintly. Uh, this is this one's quite different. Uh, they all have some banding here that seems up and, and whatever's going on 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 the, the margin here looks very similar. But this one has a, a very narrow band a signal right in the center. Um, but the, you can see the timeline is not quite right. I, I I captured these files using our um, auto capture, which allows me to to sort of do a simultaneous. I send a I send the command to all three all at the same time. Say capture. And so they're going to be close, just the way they're captured. But these files, when we do a capture, we have the ability to uh, turn on a, a timestamp, and that embeds a very, um, very accurate uh, timestamp based on the GPS time. And since this little icon here, it's it's, it's great up here, but if it's if it's available, if the if the file was captured with the timestamp feature turned on, then then I can align these using the timestamps, and then it's pulled in a, a, an alignment here. And now when I play these back, why well, the alignment's going to be very precise. Uh, you can see the the distance here is going to be very similar on in all three of these. Um, so using using that that embedded timestamp allows me to, to collect uh, data simultaneously from different RSMs using different antennas, um, but but align them very very closely in time and be able to do a, a comparison uh, in my playback. So that is is really a, a broad overview of, of what we mean by synchronized playback of IQ. Thank you.